Okay, the last section for chapter 8 um, talks about a, the SAS area formula for a triangle. Um, it says, suppose you wanted to find the area of this triangle. And recall that area is finding the, the area of inside of the triangle. Okay, well, we, you might know this from previous uh, math classes, but we have a formula for finding the area of a triangle. You say that area equals one-half the base times the height. So if I take one-half times the base times the height, I have the area of a triangle. Um, well, if it were this particular triangle, I have the base. Okay, the base is 20 centimeters, but I don't have the height of the triangle. And so I would have to find the height of the triangle in order to use that formula. And so we could go through a lengthy process. We could drop an altitude. Remember, an altitude goes from a vertex to the opposite side of the triangle and creates this 90-degree angle. So we could drop an altitude in that triangle to find the height. Um, since I know this is 74 degrees, I could figure out what this, this height is using my trig values. Okay, H is what I need to know. That's the opposite side of that 74 degrees. And 18 is my hypotenuse. So I could use the sine of 74 degrees is equal to H over 18. And I could solve that to figure out what the height is. And once I knew the height, then I could go back and use my formula. But that takes some steps, and that takes some process. So what we've done is we've come up with a formula that's a little bit of a shortcut to do this. And that formula, you're going to want to um, highlight this in your packet right there. That formula says the area of a triangle is equal to one half times the base. I'm sorry, times a, times b, times the sine of c. Okay. So it's notice that this a and this b are lowercase. That means that they're side lengths. So you got the side length a times the side length b. But notice that C is a capital C. So that's an angle measure. So in all of your triangles today, you're going to be given two side lengths and one angle measure. And you're going to plug them into your formula. So if I go back up here, okay, and I use my formula, I would say area equals, okay, it still has the one half in it, times A and B are your side lengths. They're lowercase letters. They'll represent the two sides. So I'd say 18 times 20. And again, it does not matter which one's A and which one's B. You can interchange those as well. And then I'm going to take it times the sine of angle C. Angle C is the angle that I'm given. Okay, so you're going to use your calculator, and you're going to take 1 half times 18. Okay, and once I do that, 1 half times 18 is 9 times 20 times the sine of 74 degrees. Okay, when you take 9 times 20... You're going to get 180, and then the sine of uh, 74 degrees, that's going to come off of your table of values, okay? And we're going to get the same thing. We're going to get an answer of 173. Okay, this value is going to be a decimal. You're going to have to plug that in and take that off of your table. Okay, it says calculation we did to find the height replaces the height in the original formula. For example, we can find the area of this triangle without finding the height. All right, we can use my formula. Here's that formula again. So I'd say area is going to equal 1 half times A times B. And again, side lengths are A and B. It doesn't matter which one's A and which one's B. And then you're going to take it times the sine of the angle, 107 degrees. Okay, so A is equal to, when you multiply this out, the order that you multiply does not matter. So I can take half of 14. Half of 25 is going to leave me with a decimal. So half of 14 is 7 times 25 times the sine of 107. Okay, 7 times 25. If I had 7 quarters, how much would I have? If I gave you 7 quarters, how much money did I just give you? Okay, that would be $1.75. So 7 times 25 is 175. And then the sine of 107, you're going to have to get off your calculator. Your table in your, in your packet only runs up to angles of 90. So you're going to have to find that, put 107, and then hit sine on your calculator. So it says it gives me this decimal, 0 
So when I multiply those, I get that 167.4. And because it's area, it's centimeters squared. Okay, that's how you use that SAS formula. You might call it the SAS formula to find the area of a triangle.